Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming my first YouTube video ever and it's gonna be uh, what to pack for Ultra Music Festival. Uh, Miami is in about a week and a half and I'm getting everything together here so I'm gonna go over the essentials that you should be bringing with you and then I'm turning this more into a festival rave outfit inspiration um, ideas what I'm gonna be wearing at the festival and then just a couple fun accessories and things that you should be bringing with you first and foremost you're gonna need your ultra ticket which you should have gotten in the mail by now and then they gave you some fun things which most importantly I need earplugs I've never bought myself a pair and I'm going deaf so this is huge for me and they also gave like a little fish lens that you can attach to your camera um, when you're filming your snapchats and things like that so get that in your bag first so sunscreen would be the next most important thing that I'm going to be bringing um, definitely spray yourself before the festival and um, anytime you're going to be outside in Miami it's hot sunglasses whatever you have just get a cheap pair um, if you've been to a festival before you know that you can lose these easily they break they get ruined so these are just like a little cheap pair that I've had for uh, a couple years now also please excuse the crazy makeup I have going on I just filmed um, a festival makeup tutorial on this kind of like purple glittery look so you can check that out on my Instagram that should be up in a couple days next essential thing is something I just got for Christmas uh, a camelback backpack um, they definitely sell water alcohol anything you want to drink at the festival but they're free refill stations so if you can invest in something like this I highly highly suggest it this is actually my first festival with one I'm always mooching off of my friends and I'm sure they don't appreciate it um, so yeah, so you get um, a free refill of this anywhere you go. You've got a little spout, so you can have this on your back at all times. It's a million times easier than holding a water bottle and buying one over and over again. You save so much money doing this. Um, usually you just have to empty out your pouch before you go in, so you know, definitely do that before you go inside the festival. Other things, and this is important, if you're partying in Miami, I would highly suggest getting some Advil. That's definitely gonna be in my bag. You're just so sore after these things. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but this is my first Ultra Miami Festival. I've done EDC Vegas a couple of times and just a ton of festivals on the East Coast. Um, so I know how sore your entire body is going to be after three days of going crazy. I'm packing some Ziploc bags. Uh, it can rain in Miami. It's Florida. You never know if it's going to happen. I'm personally carrying all my stuff in the pockets in the Camelback. So if it rains, I don't want my phone, my money, anything to get wet. So I'm going to be bringing some Ziploc bags to store everything in um, and just open them when I need them. 100% you should be wearing closed toed shoes. That's just a given. I'm going to be going with my ratchet white, con used to be white converse. Um, definitely wearing comfortable shoes every single day. And then I also just got these super cute um, slip ons from Bucket Feet. If you haven't checked these out, you should. They have really cool designs. Um, they're just easy and I don't mind getting them dirty because I mean. You probably don't want to wear new shoes to a festival. You don't want to have to break them in, get blisters. Ugh, no, that's fun. Um, fanny packs. These are totally optional. You can definitely carry everything in your Camelback that you need. But if you want some extra storage, I highly suggest getting fanny packs. I have my American flag one, and then I just have a plain black that goes with everything. It's seen better days. This has been through a lot with me, so... Um, I definitely suggest it if you're like me, you want your hands to be free, you're going to be dancing a lot. This is just so easy and it can pretty much fit everything that you're going to need um, for a festival ending. So. Oh, and of course, lastly, it's Miami. If you're going to be doing Miami Music Week, um, any of the pool parties, definitely got to step up your bathing suit game. So I went and bought a couple new swimsuits and then I have um, one of my favorites. So I'm just going to be kind of rocking like a black 
top, and I got cute tribal print um, bottoms, something fun, colorful. Um, I'm also a really, really big fan of triangle bathing suits. They're a little bit pricier, but the patterns are just so cool, and um, they've lasted me a really long time. So these are some that I've had, uh, some like cool tie-dye print and floral patterns. Yes, this swimsuit does go together. <laughs> um, and then I also have this really pretty like bright coral and white floral um, pattern swimsuit. They're really interesting kind of like scuba-y material. I don't know, their they're sizing's tricky. I mean, I'm a smaller person, but um, they're definitely, they run very, very small. So just um, order a size up if you're gonna go for triangle bathing suits. And that's it. Now I'm gonna get into the fun outfits for Ultra Miami Festival. But for um, the first day, I've kind of have these fun um, red shorts. They've got a little design on the side. And then I'm gonna be wearing that with this little like lace um, bralette that I got from iHeartRaves.com. It was pretty cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks maybe. Uh, but it's really fun and you don't have to wear a bra under it, which is great. It's got like a little bit of wiring in it. Um, so yeah, so the first day I'm definitely wearing these two things together, which will be awesome. We're accessorizing with this new bandana that I also got from iHeartRaves. It's like a little skeleton bandana. So it's going to be a little hot. We'll see how long I last with this on. But um, yeah, it just goes right around your neck and you can just kind of like let it kind of gather around your neck or you could like pull it up and bunch it up but you know I love black and I love skulls so much so this was a necessity for me I'm super excited to try that out for day two I'm going to be rocking my favorite DJ's shirt which of course for my mellow gang is my marshmallow crop top um, I actually made this um, online I just ordered Two for me and my best friend who are going together it says keep it mellow on the back and then the front is just like his face his logo so yeah I mean if you want to make your own merch I'm a huge supporter of that I'm a really creative person so I think it's really fun um, so I'm going to be wearing my marshmallow shirt on top um, and then I'm gonna be wearing that with these like little um, black booty shorts these are also from iHeartRaves super comfortable I wore these to EDC Las Vegas last year and they're just so easy to dance in they're really comfortable if you're somebody that's not as comfortable wearing less clothing then you might want to go with regular shorts because these definitely show a little bit of booty so you got to be careful with that um, but I'm wearing those two things together and then I'm also going to be wearing like some high knee tights probably I don't have them on me right now but I'm definitely wearing some tights and then as an accessory for that I got these awesome uh, hair tie pom-poms um, I ordered them on Etsy they were super super cheap um, and they're really fun I'm probably gonna be doing like pigtails or something super cute and random but absolutely love these and I also got them in pink um, I think, I don't remember the name of the Etsy shop, but just search pom-pom hair ties on Etsy and you'll see a bunch of stuff. So that's just like a fun way to accessorize with your hair. Pretty much any of the days I'm going to be wearing like a choker necklace. I have a couple here. Um, I have a little daisy one, which my best friend got me. Love that. And then I have one of those like shoestring tie choker necklaces that you can kind of loop around. And then the last day I'm gonna be wearing, um, again, high-waisted shorts, just, you know, nice and comfortable. I can wear these multiple days going out and stuff. These are from American Eagle, I believe. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then I'm rocking on Sunday. It's a state of trance stage day. Definitely gonna be checking out some artists there. So I figured I have to wear one of my rave bras um, that I designed. This is kind of like space themed. It's a little galaxy. It's got stars all throughout the back, which is cool. And then these little like dangly things that kind of hang on your body. Um, but this took me a long time to make and I really, really love it. It's so sparkly and fun. Um, so I'm super, super excited to be 
wearing this together um, on Sunday for a state of trance day. And then also I have just a couple fun accessories to maybe inspire you, things that you could buy. Um, I've had for a couple years my little cat ears um, headband. Uh, I ordered this on Etsy. It was pretty cheap and um, it's just really, really pretty and it's a fun accessory. So I highly recommend going for headbands. Of course, True Raver, you gotta get some candy. I have so much candy in here. Uh, my friend and I make these all the time, so we went and made a bunch of new ones. We got some little fluffies on here. This one says marshmallow, of course. I speak whale. We got some like really fun stuff in here. These are good just to trade. I mean, half the fun of being at these festivals is meeting people and trading candy is one way to do that and they're just like a fun accessory to have so definitely don't forget your candy if you're gonna go down that route um and then you know most importantly gotta have my glitter pack i ordered this on amazon for like 24 dollars i want to say i think this is yeah this is a martha stewart brand um, but this one came with 24 all assorted colors. I use this on my face. I use this in my hair for glitter hair. Um, pretty much anything you can accessorize with that. So if you love doing makeup like I do, definitely highly recommend getting glitter. And down that road, I have more glitter, <laughs> which I have some of this gold one on the inside of my eye right now. Um, but these were from Michael's craft store. Um, they were pretty cheap. I bought a gold, a blue and silver to wear with my rave bra, and then like this iridescent kind of color, which is super unicorn mermaidy. So you know, glitter is always a way to go. I'm probably gonna do like tons of um, body glitter and paint, um, which leads me to acrylic paints. These are things I also bought at Michael's. I've used these for like face paint, body paint before. Um, I have satin white and satin gold. Just, you know, fun things to accessorize with. You never know what you're going to end up doing. Um, and then also from Michael's, they have tons of these um, jewels. I decorated my whole rave bra with the jewels from Michael's. These ones are purple. I, that's what I have on my face right now. Um, these are, I think, like $10 a box of jewels, um, but they're really fun. So far, they've been staying on my face. I have not been dancing around or moving around, but with lash glue, they've been staying on pretty well. Um, so definitely, if you like that, gems, you can pick them up from Michaels. Super, super excited to be going to my first Ultra Miami. If you guys see me there, please say hi, trade some candy with me. Um, please subscribe to my channel. This is my first video, so go easy on me. If you'd but also like to follow me, I'm on Instagram. I have a beauty account, which is where I kind of post these types of makeup tutorials. And then I also have a personal account where I post a lot of my videos and photos from shows and stuff. So I will link those down below. Please drop by and say hello. Thank you guys so much. I hope this was really helpful. Comment below if there's other things you should be packing. I definitely did not cover everything here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.